cleanest learning and development farm. I'm talking about the Semencial Learning and Development Farm right here in Sohom in the eastern region of Ghana. Farmers lose a lot of money when the babies and kids of their livestock die early. How do we stop this? Today's discussion, we are actually doing this production in our baby pen, lactating pen right here, because this topic is so dear to our hearts. And if you are watching as an aspiring farmer or as a practicing farmer, these measures and nuggets we are going to share with you would help you to prevent or reduce mortality rate at your farm. I'm not going to be doing this video alone. I'm doing this with our ever knowledgeable farm manager, Godfred. Hi, Godfred. Hello. Busy, busy, busy <laughs> pen here. <laughs> Whenever I come, thank you. Whenever I enter the lactating pen, I feel like I'm in a maternity mm, ward. It's yeah. it's so crying, busy. Crying, crying, babies crying, mothers crying. But it's a cute scene, though. Yeah. It is. And how are your babies doing? They're doing very good. Very, very. Good. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So we had some babes a um, couple of weeks ago. Wow. I think even yesterday we had some. Oh, that um, one is so cute. Yeah, and they are doing very good. So in, in the lactating pen, typically, what's the age range for these babies? Uh, so they, it, they range from two weeks um, all the way up to three months. That's when we win them. So when they are three months old, we take them to the kids' pen. But all those that you see here are below three months. We have some at one week, um, two weeks, we have some at three weeks, four weeks. So, wow, so these yeah. two beautiful ones, they're all below two months. Yeah, 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 they're just about three weeks old. Three weeks old for this baby? Yes. Woo! Hi, baby. Come, yeah. come, 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 come. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to hold. Is uh, it a he or a she? It's a male. It's a male? Yes. That is. Okay, okay. No, no. I don't want them to be abusing <laughs> or <laughs> harassing the baby, but it's really right. friendly. Yeah. Godfrey, today I came with a question we've gotten from our audience. Okay. Um, they are experiencing premature deaths mm. at their farm. Okay. Meaning their babies are not growing yeah. as as they are supposed to. How do we combat this, please? Okay. Because ours are thriving. Yeah. Of course, it's a livestock farm. Every now and then you get an incident, yeah, but generally it's on the low here. Yes. So let's share what we do, right? Okay. With farmers out there, and they can also benefit from yes. this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Hey. No. I'll all see you later. These okay. Females. Uh -huh. That we are seeing here came from the pregnant men. So it means when they are pregnant, we keep them separately. Okay. Right. So they all give birth from the pregnant men. We mm -hmm. took them to the gestation pen okay. for about two weeks to okay. monitor them so that the kids can also bond with their mothers. Okay. The reason we take them from mm -hmm. the pregnant men is when they deliver, mm -hmm. every um, female or the mothers, the other mothers will try to lick it. When they lick and mm -hmm. then the, the actual mother comes, and then smells that what the smell on it is not it um, for her. It's not going to take it. It's going to reject. Interesting. Yes, that animal. <laughs> I think Godfred has just dropped some really, really wild nuggets right here. You know, sometimes farmers complain that they have bad mothers at mm. their farm. Could this be one of the reasons? Yes, it could be. Please repeat it for <laughs> anybody who missed out. Yeah. And stop blaming these mothers so much. Maybe what you described happened. Yes, yes. So take take it back, take me yeah, back okay, there okay. a bit again. All right. Yes. Yeah, so once you see that the mother has given birth, and also you need to make sure you're always around. Right. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so once it gives birth, you, you take the mother and then the kid away from the other mothers. Because when the other um, the other females lick it and then the mother comes to smell and it's not the smell of it, of the mother. Wow. He's not going to take that kid. And I'm wondering why other female mothers would just They're want... also caring, right? They've so it's seen just a kid. natural yes. instinct. Yes. Yeah, so you need to make sure once it's delivered, you take it and then put it at the gestation, separate, stage, separate it. it, and then the kid can get enough time um, to suckle the milk from the mother, and then they get time to bond as well. The right. bonding so is very necessary. Very, very important. I'm still a bit hung up on what you just described. If a mother that's not its mother mm -hmm. licks it, yeah. Is, will that mother be able to breastfeed it, assuming its own mother um, doesn't attend to it because there is no smell it can recognize? No, it's not because they are all at the pregnant pen. It means there's no lactating female over there. Mm. So it doesn't have milk for it. Wow, I thought so, you would um, trigger something. No, so the milk comes out when they deliver. Yeah. Right, so the colostrum, the first, first milk that comes, with that, it has um, a ceiling. 
mm -hmm. the teeth of the of the the other. Okay. So even when it gives birth, you need to pull that. So you, the farmer, you need the to farmer pull needs that. to pull it so that that sealant gets out before the milk will flow. Wow. So naturally, when they are pregnant, it's sealed. Okay. Milk doesn't come. So okay. if the mother is not a lactating mother, yeah, uh, there is no way the kid is going to suckle from from that female. Wow. Yeah. And talking about the colostrum, I know we've all heard of how important it is. Yeah. Can you reiterate on its importance again for me? Yes. Let's take a quick pause to subscribe to the Farming in Africa YouTube channel if you haven't done so. And I really believe you are following us on our Facebook platform as well, on LinkedIn, on TikTok, and on Instagram. If you do that, it would help us to reach many more people with similar interests like yours. Please enjoy the rest of this very educative discussion. So um, the colostrum has some antibodies that helps to boost the immune system of the, the, the kid. Okay. So when it gets that, then it means it's going to survive. That's wow, very important. it increases its chance of survival. Yes, yes, yes. So it's very yellowish when it comes and also very thick. And it okay. lasts just for about 12 hours. Mm. So once it delivers, you make sure that the kid is getting that muck before the normal muck will, will, will follow. I like what you said, you make sure. Yeah. Because we have seen mothers who get so weak after delivery. If they are not able to naturally produce that, what can you do to trigger its production or at a point it doesn't come at all? So with the cholesterol, once the mother gives birth, it's going to come. Okay. Right? But if the mother, um, the kid is not able to suckle or if the mother is weak, you need to pull it and give it to the kid. Mm. You need to make sure it gets it because it's very important for it. It's very, very important yeah. for it. Yeah. Wow. So that's one way of definitely ensuring your babies live long. Yes, they survive. They survive. Yeah. Yes. Now, what other measures? Because at the moment in Ghana, it gets really, really cold. Mm -hmm. I was telling a friend yesterday that this weather is new to Ghanaians. <laughs> we, the people of this country, yeah, this weather yeah, is new. Very new. Yeah. And you know, Fred always says your livestock can't talk. Yeah. You have to be with them constantly, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you said. Mm -hmm. So looking at that. From that perspective, how do farmers also ensure that their babies are well protected from the weather elements? <laughs> yeah, all right. So livestock is not one formula. Mm. Maybe something worked for you last year, this mm. year it might not work. Yeah. So you need to be very observant. Um, so let's take this um, weather for instance. For, so with this, you need to make sure you keep them in an enclosed area. Mm especially in the evenings yes. because that's when it gets very cold yes and then you put a heat bulb so when you go to our gestation pens we have some oh heat i would bulbs. love to go there and show yeah. our people we the, have some the heat, heat bulbs um, okay so that we use so that the temperature hi yeah, cutie you won't the, move the weather becomes <laughs> a bit um hot for them okay yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is the gestation pen. Yes, and then that's the heat bulb as well. Mm. Yeah, so you can use this and then make sure they are enclosed. Is it such that you can regulate the temperature? So no, with that, once you turn it on, okay. then that's it. Okay, so there's nothing not like too, it's going to get too hot. No, no it's, it's not going to get too hot. That is going to affect the animals. Wow. Yeah. So that's what we use here to provide extra warmth yes. in the night. Yeah, for them. Yeah. Wow. Now talking a bit more about the technical part of keeping them mm -hmm. alive. The baby has taken the colostrum. Yes. You are making sure your infrastructure or housing is in order. Are there any medications to give them? Um, look at it from that angle for yeah. me because I've heard some farmers say they don't believe in feeding very young babies a lot of medications. Mm, yeah, very true. And we don't also subscribe to that. Um, but are there certain ones that are mandatory you just can't avoid? Yeah, so it depends. So there are some vaccines that you can give them at two weeks, but not when they are, they are, um, they are just giving birth at that very um, young age. So when age. they are freshly born, don't give them any medications? No, no. All colostrum they, does milk, the job. Colostrum milk does it. They only need the milk. Okay. Right? And then with time, when mm -hmm. they start eating the solid, you introduce them to it. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. so there's no... Uh, medication that you need to give it to them once the kid is born. Yeah. But there are some vaccines that you can still give them so that their immune system becomes very strong. Wow. Yeah. I see. Have you 
I know this might sound funny, but have you ever seen any of the babies react to certain vaccines, certain medications? Uh, yeah, so there are some, some of the vaccines, when you give them after a day, they will, you, have, you will see some reactions that you start limping. And those things, those are the side effects of the vaccines. That doesn't affect them. That's also part of the treatment. It's also part of the treatment. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I, at this point, I'm running out of some of the questions I approached Gottfried with. And so if you have listened this far and there is a question you sent and uh, it hasn't been addressed, please kindly put it under the comment section because see, he is part of us. <laughs> I would always come back to him and get the answers. We all are learning and we would love to get your views and how these tidbits are also helping you in your own livestock journey, okay? So let's do this together. On that note, what would you say, last words, finally, okay. to a new farmer out there who keeps losing his babies? Yeah. Should he give up and start going and do maize farming or something like no, that? No, 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 no. Or there is a way Once around it. Started <laughs> You need to maintain that and that is done through education yeah right so once you're getting this education you'll be able to better your farm your practices as well mm. so you make sure once the kid um, is born you take it from the other mothers gives it the colostrum that it needs and then you actually uh, monitor them so to see that they are bonding the kid is getting enough milk because that's the only feed that it gets mm. so if it doesn't get the milk definitely it's going to die some say oh my kid is not taking the milk from mother. If it's not getting the milk, you need to pull it and feed it to the kid. Because that's the only feed that it needs to survive. That's the only feed that it needs to survive. Yeah. On that note, let me remind you that a healthy young stock means a great future profit for you. So please don't forget to put into practice all of these measures and many others we keep sharing with you right here on our platform, on Facebook, on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn. Yes, we do write for you to read as well. My name is Nadia and today coming to you with this very informative piece of news on how to save your babies at your livestock farm. Don't give up, okay? We will bring you another episode where you have to do certain things right during the pregnancy or gestation period because some of you suffer from miscarriages and all of that. That's why if you don't follow us on this channel, when we bring you that episode, you will miss it. And I don't want you to miss it because, hey, this industry, we have to do it right. And a special shout out to the gentleman who nearly gave up and said he wanted to go into maize farming. No, you can't. You can't. The meat, we are eating it together. So stay, learn, and get it right. All the way from the Semencial Learning and Development Farm with Farm Manager Godfrey. Thank you so much. We shall see you in another video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.